Hidden Magnetic Portals Around Earth Presented by Science at NASA A favorite theme of science fiction is the portal, an extraordinary opening in space or time that connects travelers to distant realms. A good portal is a shortcut, a guide, a door into the unknown. If only they actually existed. It turns out that they do, sort of and a NASA-funded researcher at the University of Iowa has figured out how to find them. We call them X-points, or electron diffusion regions, explains plasma physicist Jack Scudder of the University of Iowa. They're places where the magnetic field of Earth connects to the magnetic field of the Sun, creating an uninterrupted path leading from our own planet to the Sun's atmosphere 93 million miles away. Observations by NASA's Themis spacecraft and Europe's cluster probes suggest that these magnetic portals open and close dozens of times each day. The universe is wonderfully and intrinsically dynamic on many scales, especially when it comes to the forms of energy that it creates and uses. The gravitational attraction of matter with itself leads to clumping and eventually to the formation of stars fueled by the release of nuclear energy burning hydrogen at their cores. When high-mass stars run out of nuclear fuel, their pressure is insufficient to balance the gravitational forces and they collapse in catastrophic supernova explosions, sending supersonic blast waves across the cosmos. Although such gravitational and nuclear phenomena are the dominant sources of energy in the universe, along with, perhaps, dark energy, The swirling of matter as it moves in response to these sources generates another form of energy, the magnetic field, the twisting and turning of material in the core of the Earth, near the surface of the Sun and other stars and in galaxies across the universe amplifies magnetic fields in a process known as the dynamo. The strength of magnetic fields, measured in units of Gauss, range from around a micro-Gauss out in empty expanses of our Milky Way galaxy to 0.5 Gauss at the surface of the Earth to 1,000 Gauss at the surface of the Sun. A typical refrigerator magnet is about 10 Gauss. The highest magnetic fields in the universe, around 10 to the 15 Gauss, are believed to exist around high magnetic field neutron stars called magnetars because of their enormous fields. The power associated with such a magnetic field is tremendous. The energy in one gallon of magnetar magnetic field corresponds to that in 10 to the 18th gallons of gasoline. Given that magnetic fields and their associated energy exist throughout the universe, it is not surprising that this energy is occasionally released, typically in the form of magnetically driven explosions. Storms in the near-Earth space environment and flares in the corona of our sun and other stars are examples of explosions driven by the release of magnetic energy. The rates of energy released from magnetar flares dwarf those of the largest supernova explosions. A fundamental question, therefore, is... How and why do these explosions take place? Their query is unfortunately not just of academic interest, as these explosions can have serious consequences for our technological society. A large fraction of the magnetic energy from solar flares is released as very high energy particles. Exposure to such particles could sicken astronauts and in rare extreme solar events, could even prove fatal to them. It can also at least temporarily impair the instruments of a spacecraft, manned and unmanned, as the Earth's own magnetic fields are battered by storms from the sun. Large numbers of energetic particles are injected into Earth's radiation belts, creating an environment that can disrupt the operations of communications and other satellites, and in rare cases, even cause disruptions in electrical grids on the ground. How magnetic fields drive these explosions is on the one hand simple and on the other hand very, very complex and interesting. The simple answer is that adjacent magnetic fields pointing in the opposite directions tend to annihilate each other, releasing their magnetic energy and heating the charged particles in the surrounding environment. The challenge comes about because the simple estimates of the time required for oppositely directed magnetic fields to annihilate one another are long 10,000 years in the case of the sun's corona, 
whereas observed energy release times from such magnetic explosions are tens to hundreds of seconds. We now know that the mechanism for the fast release of magnetic energy requires that oppositely pointing magnetic fields be torn apart and reattached to their neighbors in a process called magnetic reconnection. What's up everybody, Weeds here, back again, another video. So if all of this is true, and there is this deadly cosmic radiation outside of the Earth that we're just now starting to gain a, a better understanding about, how is it that we have achieved all that we have achieved in going to the moon, in sending you know things out into, this, into space, and as far as we have, just something to think about. Gonna make this one a quick one. I've got some pretty radical footage, infrared stuff of the Earth, of these orbs materializing. We've got NASA coming out and saying that this is this is happening and we are monitoring it. These X spots, these hidden portals. Is it true? What do you what do you think? Can it be true? Can it be fake? Ah, this is some awesome footage. So thanks again to Tyler from Secure Team for hooking it up. Uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. All righty. Have a great day. In the images, as you're seeing here, of these things opening up, of objects coming out of them, the strange activity happening all over the world, with these objects coming, not from a long, drawn-out ride across the galaxy, but through one of these simple portals opening and closing just above us. They're here, and then they're gone, just like that. It makes perfect sense. And we've shown you the NASA footage above the Earth showing the literal highway of activity that is happening above our Earth, where we see these objects materializing, changing speed and direction, disappearing, heading down to Earth, entering Earth's atmosphere and vice versa, as you're seeing here, taken from these STS mission videos. And I want you to watch this video here, which could very well show these portals opening up, and this is one of my favorite pieces of video footage ever, taken above the Earth in the infrared spectrum, and I just want you guys to watch this. And look at these objects that materialize, and look at these dark black, almost blobs, that appear directly over the Earth, uh, over these thunderstorms that are happening in the Earth's atmosphere, and you see these objects appear, specifically a very large object which appears, it comes into frame, and then, as you'll see in this sped up clip, the object flies down to Earth, locks itself into position, and then begins moving with the Earth as the Earth turns to the point where you can no longer see it. So check this out. Thank you. 